All right, let's go back to school. Let's look at some college football. Game of the week, Florida, Georgia. Third down, second quarter. Ruling on the field is a catch. Goes to review, and the ruling on the field stood. This is really close. It's a big play. It's a third down conversion. Georgia scores on this drive, scores a touchdown. You can see the ball clearly hit the ground. The question became, did the player have firm control of the ball? Because the ball can touch the ground. But if the ball is loose, it's incomplete. If the player maintains control, then it's a catch. The call in the field stood. I talked to Steve Shaw, who's the coordinator of officials for the SEC, and this he said, look, this was very close. They have, they have a, a system in place where the replay official in the stadium, they go back to their review center where the coordinator of officials has – replay officials in that room that are looking at it with the replay official at the stadium and they just felt it was too close to change you know personally I feel like it's incomplete but I understand if it's not clear and obvious and you can make a case that maybe the Georgia player still has control that that left hand never comes off the football and you can make a case that it isn't obvious, it isn't clear. And so whatever the ruling on the field is, if you don't feel like it's definitive, you let it stand. So definitely an interesting play there. What's not so interesting, well, it's interesting, but it's not necessarily controversial, was this, this right tackle for Georgia. And, uh, and the defense jumps, causing the, the offensive lineman to move. But I think he doesn't have to be that. He, I think he might be a, you know, a drama major maybe. I'm not sure. But he definitely doesn't have to react that that dramatically to get the foul look he just has to flinch and uh but again look he got scared it's halloween this this past weekend i don't know and uh and so but i thought that was uh that was pretty funny but it was a foul on florida for offside let's go to oregon usc and this this game this game got chippy and uh and this was called targeting and the call was confirmed for a hit on a defenseless player you had players ejected. Here was number 21. Look, lowering the head, initiating contact, forcible contact to the head neck area of a defenseless player. He's leading with the helmet. He's attacking to the head neck area. This is a good call for targeting. It went to review and it was confirmed. So you had 21 for USC who was um, ejected for that. You had a player from Oregon, number 99, that was ejected later in this game for multiple unsportsmanlike conduct penalties, one for actually impermissible contact with a game official. So again, this was a, this was a game that got out of hand score-wise and then conduct-wise, and you had multiple ejections in the game. And, uh, and this was a play, again, good call for targeting and a good confirmation in replay. That's the plays we have for college football. Thanks for going back to school with us. I think we're up to sixth grade now. By the end of the season, we may get to high school, and I think I'm going to start studying for my SATs. Mike isn't here. We'll see if Mike returns next week. Watch Last Call NFL version, and you might see where Mike is. And, uh, and check us out next week when we go back to school. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.